up? It's Danielle. So for today's video, I'm going to take you guys through my pocket and my A5 Filofaxes just so you can kind of see how they've changed throughout the month. Now, I'm just going to start off by saying this. This is my favorite pen to use for my pocket Filofax. As you guys know, this is the one that I keep on me at all times. And that being said, I need to have a pen that can write on virtually any surface. So that's basically what this is. It's the Big Atlantis Ultra Comfort in the 0.7 size. And this is also a ballpoint. One of my friends at work actually got me hooked on these and I actually have a ton of them now. So there's that. I did swap out the Planner Charm for a keychain. This is actually, if you guys are a fan you know, of James Bond, then you know about Jaws, and that's basically what this is supposed to be. I got this a couple years ago in Washington, D.C. at the International Spy Museum, which is one of my favorite museums, and I just love it. It is kind of heavy, and it is really sort of unnecessary to have on here, but I love it so much that I decided to put it on there. So, getting into the actual meat of the planner, I kind of switched up my pockets just a little bit. This is actually a little sticky notepad from the Target Dollar Spot a couple months ago. I still have the full adhesive post-its that I've been using for quite a while. I still love those. Right here, this is just a note card that has things that I don't want to forget about or things that I need to remember, that kind of thing. So I want to make a list of my coupons. And then on the back, there's just some things that I want to talk to my doctor about the next time I go in for a checkup. On my dashboard, this is kind of just you know, something to make me laugh, and it basically is just from Breaking Bad. So if you're a fan of Breaking Bad, this should look pretty familiar to you, but basically it says F you and your eyebrows. I'm not going to say, you know, the F word on here just because I know some people do like profanity, so yeah, and I think it's enough that it's written right there. <laughs> All right, so... The first section is actually my quarterly section. I've actually eliminated my monthly section in this particular planner just because I find that I don't utilize it quite as much as I thought and I felt that it was sort of redundant and unnecessary to have both calendars in my quarterly section and to have a monthly. So this is what it looks like, just very simple, clean cut. It's a landscape, you know, orientation, and this is what it looks like for the month of September. Very chill, very subdued, and what you guys are going to see, which is going to be a recurring theme, not only in this planner, but in my A5, is that I like to round my edges on my pages now. I just got this a couple days ago. Absolutely love it. So there's that. I'm not going to go over like my monthly sections just because I already did that in a video that I posted earlier this week. So if you guys are interested, you can go check that out. But one thing I didn't mention on that video is that I actually went ahead and I put a post-it underneath this one and it just has all of the to-dos that I need to get done for the month of September. So there's that. The next section is still just notes, brain dump, projects, and project breakdown. So there's really nothing new in here except that I have a list of gifts that are, well, you know, Christmas is coming up. So basically that's what I'm working on currently. I also need to get started on like my mom's birthday present, which is in November and also a birthday present to myself. So kind of just listing off, you know, what I'm getting people. And I usually start with my best friend because I find that she's the easiest person in terms of gift giving. 
All right, I also made a list of things that I need to save for. So these are just a couple, but Australia, I need to get a new car because mine is 13 years old. I'm going back to Korea, so I'm very excited for that. It's gonna be happening in the next two years. And then also I need to get a new sewing machine because the one I have right now is actually pretty old and it doesn't perform the way that it used to. The next section is just my weekly section. You guys know I love these mini calendars. Basically, it's just a sticky note calendar from the Target dollar spot, and I went ahead and laminated it, and I write on it with the Expo wet erase markers. And I always like to keep the current month with my weekly or my daily section, and then generally for the monthly section, I will have the next month but because it's the end of or September is the end of this quarter I'm not going to be adding in October until the end of September so once September is over I'll add in the last quarter of the year and then I have the cute little Filofax ruler just to kind of be able to access my pages quickly and this is what my weekly spread looks like for right now. I found this really awesome stamp by Hero Arts at Joann's. And I absolutely love this because I don't have to print anything. I don't have to cut anything down. I just take a three and a half by five note card, round the edges, stamp it, and then just add everything in. So I really, really love that. And then on the back, there is a lot of space for notes, which most likely I will never have to use, but it's nice to know that I have that option. And then back here is stuff related to shopping, basically. So what I've actually started doing is I will actually take a little sticky note and write in the store that I need to go to and then the things that I need from there. So... Right now, I just have stuff for like Amazon, Staples, Michaels, and Walmart, and then I just have a list of the things that we eat most often in our house, and then literally the rest of this is just all notes pages. So, not a whole lot of new stuff in here, but I really do, you know, like to think that it has been updated just a little bit from last time. So now I'm going to take you guys through my A5. Okay guys, so I'm back with my A5. And as you can see, I did decide to put my giant thing of planner charms back on here. If you didn't already know, this stays at home, so this does not come with me everywhere. And if it did go with me everywhere, I would not have this much stuff on it. But this is purely for me. I mean, obviously, it's my planner. But I really like all this stuff. And I went ahead and added back on the little pumpkin that I put on here whenever it's about to be fall. So fall is coming up in a couple of weeks. And I'm very, very excited. And just to let you guys know, these are the pens that I've been loving these are the Papermate Enjoy Gel pens in the 0.7 size. I really like these, which honestly, I wasn't sure if I was going to because I'm not a fan of the Papermate Inkjoy ballpoint pens, but I really do like these. They are pretty nice as far as gel pens go. However, my old standby will always be the Pilot Dr. Grip Gel, and I like to use it in the 0.5. Okay, so let's get started. So right here, I actually have just the same thing. You know, it's just basically a list of my friend's birthdays and things like that so that I know when to send out their birthday cards and that kind of thing. Nothing has really changed on this front except, you know, I switched out my dashboard, which if you guys have been with me for a while, this should look pretty familiar. And then I have my favorite sticky notes, which are just the gold dots from 
the Target dollar spot. I wanted the back to be a little bit sturdier, so I went ahead and I glued on a piece of cardstock. That way it just sits nicely and I don't have to keep tucking it back into the pocket. This is still the same paper clip that I made lap from last time. I literally just made it into this cute little flower. I would use this, but it sticks out of the planner so much that I really don't like it. So it just kind of sits here for decorative purposes. And then I also have this little pineapple paper clip, which I think is so adorable. I got this from TJ Maxx a couple months ago. Okay. Moving into the actual meat of the planner, I'm going to skip over the first section. That's my YouTube section. You guys know that I don't really like to share that because I have, you know, lists of upcoming videos, video ideas, and other YouTube related stuff. So I don't really like to share that just because I don't want to spoil anything in case it's a surprise. So I'm just going to move straight into my notes, brain dump, projects, and project breakdown section. So this section has changed probably the most. And something that I also should mention is that I've taken out a bunch of inserts. I actually decided to take out my financial section as well as my monthly section kind of what I did with my a5 and I'm going to show you what I did instead but the financial section is no longer in this planner at all because I have a financial binder that I can devote to that and what with all the paperwork I kind of feel like it needs its own binder anyways so that's where it will be housed from now on but I just like to put reminders and things like that on here I have a post-it which I obviously took out to film this video that has you know like the date of one of my friends weddings that's coming up next year and you know just stuff like that just you know notes that's what it's for I went ahead and I took the little fly leaf that I made, which is actually just a piece of laminated plastic, and I put a couple of sticky notes on here. I really thought these were cute and they kind of liven things up a little bit because you guys know that I am more so a function over fashion type of person, but I'm really trying to get better at that and I'm trying to liven things up. So these are post-it super sticky notes from, I believe it was... Office Depot or Office Max. These are from the Target Dollar Spot, Target Dollar Spot, and Walmart. So if I ever need to make a note or anything, I have these ready to go. And it's not the entire stack, it's just a couple from each one. I still have the Ram Dump by Kathy Paw. I originally stumbled upon this when I was watching one of Miss Trenchcoat's videos and I've been using it ever since. I absolutely love it. So if you guys are interested, you could just go Google it or if you really want me to, I can actually put it in the comments or whatever down below. All right, I redid my running to-do list just because I really felt like it was looking chaotic before. If you guys remember, I just had it on regular note paper and I really feel like I wasn't getting as much done. So because these all have little check boxes on the sides, I feel like I'm going to be a little bit more motivated. Also, just to give you guys a heads up, and I know I mentioned this when I showed you my pocket size Filofax, but I am really into rounding the edges of my pages. I love these Fiskars paper punches. I have actually quite a few of them now, but this is the one that I have. It's just like the medium, and I got it from Joann's. It was actually on sale, so it's a win-win. And then I just decided to kind of dress it up with some washi. You know, like I said, kind of liven things up. Okay, 
This is something new that I'm actually trying and it's basically goals within a certain time frame. So right now I'm working on a four week goal and basically it's just to walk for half an hour every single day. So I know that to a lot of people that's you know like the easiest sounding goal ever. I tend to get super lazy and for me it's really just kind of a challenge to see if I can push myself to actually do it. So I actually wrote in you know what my reward might be. I haven't really figured that out yet. And then the reason, it's not just stress, but that's primarily why. And then I'm kind of just, you know, checking them off as I go. I just have all the dates in here and then they're separated by weeks. And you can tell I did this spur of the moment because of the start date right here. I started on a Wednesday, so very weird. And then I'm gonna total it up and then based on what my total is, I will be able to give myself a reward accordingly. So there's that. This is basically just a notes page. I am actually planning on going to Australia with my brother. Not this year, but hopefully next year. I'm hoping he'll push it back to the year after. But I want to just start kind of thinking over what we're going to do. My brother is in love with quokkas. So we're definitely going to have to see one of those because those are one of his favorite animals. And then obviously we're going to have to go see some crocodiles because those are my one of my favorite animals as well as sharks and the Great Barrier Reef. So very excited for that. And then these aren't necessarily goals because, you know, with goals you're like, okay, I'm planning on doing this. Or, you know, some people, that's the way they think of goals. But for these, I'm actually telling myself that I'm going to do these. So I don't really have a choice. I will be doing all of these in the next five years. So that's why I said things are looking dope up in the left-hand corner. And I'm not going to take you through all these, but some of them are just like attending mass in my favorite church. And then... Obviously, like I said, going to Australia with my brother, bungee jumping, going back to Korea, going back to Poland, you know, that kind of thing. This is a list of things that kind of go hand in hand with what I just showed you guys. And these are basically just things that I want to do, hopefully sooner rather than later. And it's just stuff like getting my skydiving certification, pilot's license, you know, getting an HK-45, which if you don't know anything about guns, that's basically a 45 caliber, but it has less, you know, recoil, and basically everything else has to do with hunting, and also I want to go to a Calgary Flames home game, because they're my favorite hockey team. These are just things that I want to kind of go through and research a little bit more. I have looked into them, but I want to really make sure that I look into them just to, you know, make sure that I'm making an educated decision. I don't necessarily want to buy these things, but I'm always one for, you know, learning more stuff. So I figured, you know, I'll just kind of start here and then kind of go from there. This is a list of all of the crochet projects that I am currently working on or that I have coming up. So literally I just have the project on the left hand side and then on the right hand side I have the colors of yarn that I want to use, the type. So normally I tend to work with acrylic or cotton depending on the project. Most of the time it's acrylic just because it's cheaper and you know, it's a lot easier to care for than something like wool or cotton. And most of the time, cotton and wool are, since they're natural fibers, you would only use those if you're going to be using them for something like, you know, heating pads or whatever. Or not a heating pad, but you know what I mean, like a pot holder. I also went ahead and added in the 
size needle or the size hook that I want to use. So most of the time I use a four millimeter hook, but I'm trying to use a five millimeter hook because I find that with a four millimeter, I generally take forever <laughs> because the stitches are so tight. So I'm really trying to work on that, but that's literally what this entire page is. This one is just a blank notes page. And then I still have my list of movies. You guys know I'm a huge movie fan. And these are only the ones that I want to see. They're not all of the ones that are coming out. And it goes all the way to March. Actually, it goes all the way to May of next year. Just have the paper sizes for pocket size and A5. I don't really follow these anymore because I find that doing three and a half by five note cards works for pocket. And then for A5, I just do five and a half by eight and a half, eight and a half by five and a half, whatever. But, you know, it's just pretty simple. I have my Myers Briggs information on here as well just so that I can, you know, kind of gauge where I'm at if I ever get super stressed out. And then I updated my when did I last page. I washed my bedding, which is normally all I really have to do for the entire month. And I like to, you know, round my corners now, as you can see, it's becoming a huge thing in here. And then I just decided to add some washi to kind of make it look nicer another blank page and then I went ahead and I updated my annual to-do list so this is basically the same thing that I had beforehand I just wanted it to look a little bit nicer so I just wrote it all out on cardstock that I had on hand and I actually decided that this is where I'm going to keep all of my to-do lists from now on so it starts with the annual one goes to monthly the floating to-do list and then the AN to-do list. So basically it goes in order of, you know, things that I need to do. This section is also another big change because like I told you guys, I actually eliminated my monthly section. So this is yearly and monthly. I realized that having all these dividers is kind of taking up too much space and I really kind of go through these weird phases with my file effects where I'll stuff it to the brim and then I'll take almost everything out and then I'll stuff it and then I'll take everything out. It's just, it's kind of funny how that works. So this is devoted to yearly and monthly and I actually need to cover something up really quickly so that I don't spoil anything for you guys. But this is what the yearly calendar looks like right now. I haven't washed out August just yet because I, you know, when I'm filming this, it's not technically the end of August. So I'm just gonna wait a couple more days and then I'm going to do that. And then you guys know I like to track my periods on here and also when I have doctor's appointments, that kind of thing. And then I also, decided to put my start date for work on there as well. Okay, this is another big change and if you guys watched my Plan With Me monthly video, this should look familiar to you. But basically, I went ahead and I decided to actually have my monthly set up as, you know, landscape orientation rather than portrait. And there's a couple reasons for this, which I'm not going to get into because I get into it in a separate video, which you guys have probably already watched. So I already showed my new inserts, you know, my monthly inserts to you guys. So I'm not going to go over this. And also I already do that in my monthly plan with me video. So again, I'm not going to go over it, but this is what it looks like kind of bringing back in the stamps, which I really like. So there's that. And then I just have a list of things that need to be done on the back. All right, the last section 
is still my daily slash weekly section. Now you guys know I tend to fluctuate between the two, so I actually put that on the label right here, it says weekly slash daily. All right, this is the top loading envelope that for the past couple months I haven't figured out what to do with it. So I actually took a piece of cardstock that I had on hand. I love succulents, so I really, you know, thought it went well with this color as well. And then, you know, it kind of just looks like really chill on the front and then on the back is like where the party happens, if you will. So I basically just wanted to have fun with it. So this is from the same cardstock pack that I got from Michaels. This is actually from a little notepad from the Target Dollar Spot. This is something that is from a different cardstock pack that I also got from Michaels a couple months ago. And then you can see I wrote some of these in. And again, another thing of cardstock. Same with this. Again, wrote some of this in. I did glue on all of these little confetti dots myself. And this was actually a picture. And I just, I think it's so funny. So it's actually a dog tag that somebody had on their dog and I just thought it was hilarious. All right, so this is what the weekly section looks like. I still have this fly leaf, which if you're wondering is actually from Daytimer. I just cut it down and repunched it. And then I also cut in the tab. This is also where I have my monthly calendar. You guys always know I like to have the I like to have a month ahead for my monthly calendar, but I like to have current month for my weekly slash daily. So there it is. And then I went ahead and I started using these labels that I obsessed over last summer. And these are just, you know, reminders that come off really easily. So there's that. And then this is what my inserts look like for this week. I really like this. I've gone back to the weekly setup. It's basically everything that I need. So I like to have a quote up at the top. And then for the actual days, I like to have my stamps all on one side, except for the weather. And then I've kind of just been writing in notes. So yesterday work was closed because of Hurricane Harvey. And then this, well, technically today is when I'm filming this, the 29th. Work is also closed again. And at this point I've been home for five days and I'm getting really stir crazy but it's everything is flooded around me so I can't go anywhere so very 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 annoyed with it but I'm just hoping that everybody else is okay and then I don't know how well you guys can see this but right here in the upper left hand corner I used my other hole punch also by Fiskars and I used to do this last year, if you guys remember. I was obsessed with these. And I basically have one for every single season of the year. So I have like a flower for spring. The little bare feet are for summer. Leaf is for fall. And snowflake is for winter. So, you know, it's just kind of a fun way to remind myself. I mean, I know that I always have the date on there, but still. Just kind of a fun way to do it. And then this is what the back looks like. And then this piece of cardstock is basically just a page lifter slash page protector. And that is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Filofax update. I'm absolutely loving the way that everything is right now, especially because I took so much out and it feels a little bit more lively but anyways thank you guys so much for watching i love you all and i will talk to you all in my next video bye guys <laughs>